the bad behavior usually starts right here and it's combativeness, right? When your woman gets combative with you, that's low key, lightweight disrespect, right? That's low key, lightweight disrespect, right? She, she going against the grain, right? This ain't, now this ain't nothing to where you want to charge your girl to the game or, or, or break up with her or divorce her. But this is the this is the foundation. She's building the foundation upon mistreating you and bad behavior. It starts with combativeness, right? Um, a lot of the times, that is just being disagreeable to bicker, right? So let's say the age old the age old dilemma: What do you want to eat, right? She don't know what she want to eat, right? So you say, Hey, what do you want to eat? I don't know what I want to eat, right? And you say, okay, well, we're going to eat pizza. She'll disagree with you just to disagree with you to bicker and to get to get some type of energy. And how you handle that is, I'm going to go get pizza. And if you don't want pizza, then you're going to starve. You can be a little bit more tactful in saying that. But, you know, I want tacos. I'm going to go get tacos since you don't know what you want. Well, I don't want that. I don't want to eat that shit and blah, 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 blah. Okay, well, then you be hungry. Right, don't go back and forth with that. You nip that in the bud and let her know, if you don't know, then we gonna do what I wanna do. And we not gonna fight, we not gonna argue, we not gonna bicker about it. You see what I'm saying? Women get combative to, you know, a lot of the times to fuck with you, sometimes it's to to, to feel your, your strength, but, or, or to establish some sort of dominance. And you have to nip it in the bud right then and there another thing they'll do is they'll take a defensive tone like let's say you may be talking about something and you 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 may be it may be something harmless right it may be something harmless like hey can you go get me some water can't you say please nip that in the bud hey chill out it don't have to be all that you see what i'm saying it don't have to be all that so you want me to get on my knees and, and lick your ass for you to grab me some water we ain't doing that don't come at me like that you see what I'm saying? It's little shit like that, that if you let slide, it starts to get worse, right? Another thing, another way that they can be combative is passive aggressively, like slick comments, right? So let's say, the what, let's get the, the water example, right? Let's say you say, hey, uh, can you go get me a water? Uh, get me a glass of water, right? And she say, Oh, well, can't you say please or whatever? And then you check her. What she will say is, oh, you being sensitive. You see what I'm saying? Don't be so sensitive. It's passive aggressive. It's not as forceful. This is passive aggressive. Passive aggressive, but this is combativeness. And you check shit like that immediately. Don't let them come at you like that. You see what I'm saying? Or let's say you express your, she make you mad or she do something and you express yourself and she tells you to man up. These are slick, passive-aggressive comments because she know that emasculating or is it emasculate, emasculating you. I was about to say demasculate, emasculating you. She know that's gonna fuck with you. She pull it. She poking at your ego. Very passive-aggressive, slick way, a feminine way of you know, of being combative. Instead of saying, "Well, nigga, throw your dukes up, let's box." They try to they try to cut you down, you know, underhandedly, right? So they tell you you being sensitive or man up or a real man would. Don't let them come at you. Oh, any a real man would do this, or a real man would. When she start talking like that, you nipping in the bud. Hey, look, we gonna chill out with all that. Don't come at me like that ever. Or what we got going on ain't gonna work. You don't have to get mad. You don't have to lose your shit. You don't have to argue, but you have to have to check that little slick shit and that passive aggressive shit. A lot. Uh, another thing that they'll do, right, on some passive aggressive shit, is comparing you to an ex right or other dudes well my ex used to do this they know that that's gonna fuck with you you see what i'm saying remember fellas they can't beat you they can't beat you physically women can't beat you physically so they gotta troll you to get a to to, to get a win over you and hit you in them emotions so oh well my, my ex used to do this and let's say she want to travel and you don't feel like going somewhere or you or you you busy doing this well, my ex used to, my ex, my ex saying it wasn't a problem with my ex. She started trying you like that, nipping in the bud ASAP. 
You know what I'm saying? Or dude she used to fuck with. Or uh, it's a million dudes in my inbox that wouldn't mind, you know, taking me out to eat or wouldn't mind spending time with me. And if when they start c- trying to compare you or what your behavior to anybody else, dip it in the bud, you tell her, well, go fuck with them then. But we ain't going to do that over here. If they, if they mean that much to you, if it's like that, then go fuck with them. But don't ever say that to me ever again. Nip it in the bud, right? Another thing they'll do to get up to 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 get to you, like on some combative slick shit, passive aggressively, is they'll like shit on your goals or like your aspirations or your inspirations, right? So let's say if it's a content creator that you like, right? Let's say if you like me, right? If you like listening to me, she'll be like, oh, you listening to your daddy today? Or, you know, or, or or your big brother King Dre, you know, cause you can't think for yourself. They'll say little shit like that when they see that when they see that you growing and you know somebody's inspiring you for the better, in order to get a win over you, they'll attack you in that way because they know men not really feel insecure, but they know men want to be leaders and we don't want to be looked at as the poop putt or the fucking, you know, the sheep. So they'll attack you in that way. Oh, you listening to your daddy today. You do everything that King Dre say. And your King Dre is your life. Check that immediately. I was about to say bitch. Don't call your girl no bitch. <laughs> bitch, don't come at me like that. Watch your mouth. Don't ever come at me like that again. You know what I'm saying? Or let's say if you got a business or you got something you're trying to do on the side. In reference to what you're doing, they'll say, oh, your little business. Or, you know, oh, your little, you about to go play your little game or play with your little friends. They'll minimize what you're trying to do. They'll minimize the things that you take pride in. The things that make you happy, the thing that's outside of her, they'll minimize that. And me, I'm petty. I'll be like, yeah, to get away from my little girlfriend or to get away from my little petty woman. That, I'm petty like that. I'm not telling you to do that and throw jabs at a bitch, but check it. You see what I'm saying? Because I, I know how to deal with the, the ramifications of being petty. I know how to, I have mechanisms in place, but I, I poke back at them. Right and hold a mirror up to him. I'm not suggesting you do that, but you do check that. You know what I'm saying? And quite frankly, if you have a woman who, if you have a woman who don't believe in you, uh, don't believe in your plans, don't believe in your dreams, and she's shitting on them, you should get that woman away from you. You know what I'm saying? As soon as possible, because you're gonna feel like there. You'll always feel like you're hitting the ceiling. Right? You're hitting the ceiling. You can't grow, and a lot of the times that's her. And they know how to do that in a way so that you can't see that it's them. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, if they if they start to doing that, your little business or your little friends, or go hop on your little game and minimizing the things that you take pride in, the things that make you happy that's outside of her, it's very that's com- it's called being combative and it's being slick in a passive aggressive way. So that's that's uh step one, right? And if you don't deal with that, it grows and it escalates. Right. If you don't deal with the combativeness, you don't deal with the slick comments or whatever, you don't deal with that. It grows and it escalates. Now, here's the caveat. Right. People are human beings. So your girl is a human being with emotions. So every once in a while, you're going to get this. So let's say you deal with it. You nip it in the bud. Two, three months later, this is going to come up again and you have to deal with it again. Right. Um, now, if, it's, if, if if you check it and then tomorrow she do the same thing, you need to punish her. You need to put on ice or do what you're going to do. But you have to understand people are human with emotions and people gonna, people people are people. Human beings are not perfect. So, you know, you may have to deal with this again three, four, five, six months later. Not even three, four, five, maybe six months later, four, five months later, right? That's okay. That's understandable. Again, people humans. But squash it. Make sure you nip it in the bud. And it's not going to be... The thing is, it's not going to be how it was the first time. So the first time she may have said, oh, you let you there you go listening to your daddy, King Dre again. Right. Um, because you said something that I said that made sense and it made her less favorable. So she said, oh, you listening to your daddy. You do everything that said, whatever. Right. So you check that. And the next time it may be, oh, you're going to play your little basketball game. You see what I'm saying? So it's not going to be the same thing every time. But they will understand that this combative shit has to be to a minimum. And sometimes they be on a cycle, whatever the f*** they got going on, they'll buck up at you. But what I'm saying is, right, so I said all that to say that, you know, you're going to have to keep revisiting this throughout the course 
throughout the course of your relationship. You're going to have to revisit the check-in, right? But if you don't deal with this, then it gets worse. And it gets on, it moves up, and it escalates 